Hey guys, all over Windows here, and today I am back with another video. And today what I'm going to... Wow, that was weird. And today, what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm actually going to be installing Windows Longhorn Build 3718. And if I have enough time, I'll be moving on to the M4 builds. That's right, Windows Longhorn Build 4001. And as you can see, I'm actually joined with a new computer. If you guys have been paying attention to my latest videos, um, I actually got this desktop here for a bargain. It's basically like uh, it, pretty much $10 per computer. So I basically got that for 10 bucks. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. So this computer here, uh, I don't remember really the specs of it. The only thing I, I can really remember is that it has an NVIDIA GPU in it. So that's how I know that Longhorn works. Um, I actually did install the previous build of Longhorn on this but I screwed up on it trying to install a driver because the audio was funky and now the the stuff is, you know, corrupted. Let's turn this thing on. It's a very loud computer because the hard drive inside of it is old. The hard drive is what's loud and we're already booting in to uh, the next build. I just remembered I didn't even set the date for it. <laughs> so. We're gonna have to restart the computer just to get into that. Yeah, see, right there. I've got a, I got a whole gigabyte of RAM in this thing. Okay, so it's got, it's got an Intel Celeron processor in it. Uh, two gigahertz one at that. All right, so it's 11, uh, 14, no, 19, 2002. There we go. This is gonna take a little bit of time because it's an old uh, disk drive. Yeah, I really wanted to upgrade, but Again, like just before I started streaming, the, uh, I corrupted the files on it, trying to update one of the drivers on there. So, unfortunately, this is what we got, we got to do. Enter. I can't see my keyboard. F8. There we go. I don't have this keyboard memorized. It's one. Of, it's a miniature one. So, uh, let's just press install. Just install. Da, da, da. I'm just going to press C and see what happens. Well, you know what, while we wait, I forgot to include this in the previous video, unfortunately I'm dumb, but I'm going to read off everything changed in this, and I guess the bugs as well. So, changes. Media Center is now referred as Media Center in Add or Remove programs instead of Freestyle. That's all the changes. And then the rest are bugs and quirks, which I don't know if I should just go through and read. There is a lot of them though. Or quite a bit of them at least well this actually is just, it's, it claims to be server but it's actually not server at all it's not even 64 bit now that i think about it i don't know if this cpu supports 64 bit well there you go whoa there's no audio which is i'm okay with because uh they use a copyrighted song here, but all of this is the same. Go ahead and just go through the net. Look at that. Look at him moving. He ain't lagging or anything. This is awesome. All right, as you can see, I am now in Windows Longhorn build 3718. I have audio drivers. The audio drivers are busted, but there's still some kind of sound, I guess. It's kind of hard to listen to, but you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> see, it's choppy. Sounds like VM uh, when you install Windows XP and VMware. Um, but uh, I also have video as well, and it's not choppy really that much. It was when there wasn't video drivers, but all the stuff on here is all the same as the previous build. It looks a lot better now, obviously, because I have video drivers yet again. Uh, sorry, an NVIDIA graphics card. But there is one specific setting on here that I have to, I'm trying to remember how to get to. It's kind of a hidden setting and I don't remember how to get to it. So I'm just going to look through. Oh, there it is. Allow dynamic control. Got to restart the computer. Hey, solid killer. Ugh. Not only is it distorted, it's not only is it choppy, it's distorted. Well, I'm just waiting on the audio to show up. Whatever. Gotta love it. 
Clearly it didn't enable, but that's pretty normal. Let's try and turn this back on. Maybe. There we go. Enable now. Now, you may have noticed there was a little flash. And look at that. The background is transparent now. You can see the window behind it through this window. It is so weird to see. You can see, you can barely see the Longhorn logo down there. But this is what we've been missing out on throughout this whole series. Look at that, I've got animations. <laughs> it is so weird. They don't really like to fly in. They sort of just appear, but hey, I got, I got, <laughs> I got stupid animations. Bye! <laughs> this is green. It is so weird. But yeah, there's really nothing else that's changed on here other than uh, Media Player showing up, or Media Center showing up as Media Center in the uninstall section. Where is Media Center anyways? Huh, Media Center is missing. Kind of weird. How do I enable it? Do I have to add uh, features or whatever? Why is this blank? I want to check it. There it is, Media Center. What the heck is that icon? It's like a yellow E. Alright. <laughs> Jesus. I don't even know what- oh, oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, I don't have the disc in there. That makes sense. I thought I did. You guys don't even know how, like... Ugh, I hate it. <laughs> Weird. It doesn't, like, it doesn't want to exist, though. Whatever. That's fine, I don't have to- I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I can't open anything NVIDIA related- oh. I actually didn't know I had this. Alright, well. What the heck is InView Desktop Manager? Oh god, I shouldn't have opened this. That doesn't sound nearly as bad as the <laughs> default sounds. <sighs> Alright, that's it. I'm done. Okay, I guess I'm going to attempt to move on to the next build. So that was that for uh, Longhorn build 3718. Now I'm going to move on to... Windows Longhorn build 4001. But first, I have to change the date. So let's go ahead and go in here and change the date. Maybe. Hello? It's locked up. It's frozen. I'll do it through the control panel then. Screw you. Uh, where is it? Date time. Alright. 4001, 11, no, 12, 4, 2002. December 4th, 2002. Okay. All right. Oh, I wonder how these animations are going to look. Apparently this build looks pretty much the same. It's more just the whim that's changed. All right, here we go. I put the disc into the computer. Nothing showed up for some reason. So let's go ahead and just open it like this. Oh, interesting. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the USB stick just for now, and run setup. <laughs> Look at the whole, the entire thing is uh, freaking see-through. That is weird. Alright, let's press install Longhorn. Hopefully I got the right disc in here, I think I do. Whoa! Okay, this is a little bit whack. This is very whack. Alright, let's go ahead and push next, I guess. Yeah, let me go ahead and put the product key in. Give me just a minute to look for it. It's the same. And just so you know, uh, it's not supposed to be see-through like this. That's just because I have the desktop compositing engine enabled. Uh, I accept, of course, 180 day license, even though it's only 14 days when you go through, because, you know, obviously we're doing this one. 
and it's copying a set of files. You're right, it does look cool. I don't know why the start menu and the sidebar are all still there, but this is pretty interesting. I don't believe I've ever actually seen this before. Man, Microsoft really loved the color blue during the M3 phase, didn't they? Because a majority of the pictures in the slideshow is blue, except for that one. I wonder whenever they made this install, this install.wim, if they even thought about the desktop compositing engine doing what it's doing here. Whenever they, clearly whenever they made this whole desktop compositing engine, <laughs> for some reason they made all of the windows transparent. But if you think about it, they kept that. The whole transparency thing, they kept it throughout the entire process of Windows Vista. Like they were dead set on having transparency ha uh, happening, whether it was, you know, what's happening here or the new stuff. They were set on transparency. Get ready for the demon to come back. <laughs> Wow, this is so different. Why did Microsoft get rid of this? Like seriously, now it's boring, like extremely horribly boring. They need to bring these like awesome setup stuff back. Like pre-setup. This is pretty interesting. Now this time I'm not gonna cut any of this out. I'm gonna just, you know, fast forward it so people can see stuff that happens. Cause this is pretty cool. Complete the Windows Longhorn Setup Wizard. You have successfully completed and it will restart in 10 seconds. I'm gonna let it, oh wow, there you go. I was gonna say, oh, I'm gonna let it do what it wants. Did I boot into Longhorn or to PE? Well, it says Windows XP still. Well, this is interesting. I know it's got drivers, but look at that. Build 4001. Whoa, meh. Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Corporation, nay. See if I can fix that. Nope, that's just how it is. Oh, it's actually just cut off. How weird. Oh, hey, we're back. Oh, hey, we're actually going through a setup now. Okay, uh, let's just go ahead and push next, I guess. Whoa, wait, no accounts are created. Interesting. The name you type will appear on the welcome screen. Awesome. All right, I want to type Gabe then. Create account. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you for answering the question. That's it. I just get two questions. Finish. Apparently there's no drivers on it. Not even a video driver. Interesting. Let him look. Ethernet controller. Well, while I wait on the drivers to install, let me uh, go ahead and read all the changes in this build. Which we actually saw the two new changes because there's only new two new features on it. I'm gonna read it anyways. New feature number one, Ubi. This build contains a new Ubi that replaced the Windows XP Ubi used in previous builds. The Ubi in this build only asks for account names to create these will be administrator's accounts. Oh, administrator accounts, interesting. And then finishes. And then WIM installation. This build is among one of the first builds to use a new WIM-based setup routine. One of the first radical de departures from the previous Windows NT codebase. The WIM-based setup routine works by having all of the setup files stored within a single WIM disk image. Install.wim. When the installation media is booted directly, the WinPE, or Windows Pre-Installation Environment, loads into the graphical user inter interface itself. After it images the WIM file to the system partition, the system reboots to finish the setup by installing the hardware and running the UBI. Microsoft stated that their goal with this routine was to allow installations of Windows to finish in as little as 15 minutes. Holy crap, were they not kidding? While the installation is basic, using the Avalon interface, and lacks partitioning, it is capable of detecting hardware, including the CPU, 
As a result, it cannot be installed on processors older than a Pentium 3 alongside a few virtual CPUs, like the default emulated uh, QEMU processor. The processor requirement would be removed in all subsequent pre-reset builds for unknown reasons. Also, as the ability to upgrade from a previous build was not implemented at this time, the user can only install a clean build. That makes way more sense. I didn't read that part. That is why everything was gone when I upgraded. As you can see, I am now in Longhorn build 4001. For some reason, there's an issue with the desktop compositing issue uh, engine. I don't know why. It says it's enabled, but it doesn't actually enable. I went into the registry editor. It's still it's it's enabled in there. So clearly, it's enabled. It just isn't enabling for some strange reason. But I think there is different colors of Plex on here. According to BetaWiki, there is, but there's not on here, so it's, it's weird. Interesting. All right, well, there's not really anything else I can show off. It's more, more or less the stuff that's changed on here is installed on whim, and that's it. Dang, why is all this orange? It still didn't install Media Center for some interesting reason. I mean, it's right here, obviously, but it's not on here. It's kind of weird. Uh, well... I've been streaming for probably about like two hours and, or, and something. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, please go down into the description and check out all the links and all that stuff down below. And I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for sticking around. Um, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Uh, there's a join button that's also near the subscribe button. You should definitely click that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.